Okay, so let's. Uh, this is the table we had when we run the auto tune, and this is the 3D of it. So you see that's very, very ugly, full of holes and stuff, right? So we're going to smooth it out today. And this is the way I am doing. I'm not an expert. Uh, I don't claim to be a tuner. So I'm just showing you how I'm doing, how my car is running, and you know, I hope this helps you. Um, yeah, so this is what the auto-tune did to me. It added some gas in here, so I knew that I was running lean. So I'm going to leave those, and I'd rather run rich than lean. So I'm going to get and assume that this 115 here is good. Um, and also, see here, 103. It could be 102, could be a little lower, but then, yeah, we're going to go through the logs. But this 115 here um, stays, but look at those guys here. Here I have 112, and if I hover, it shows me the previous value was 114. This was one was 113, and it dropped the values. It's pretty possible that this here is my cruising area or when I let the throttle go. Um, and this here is when I go up. So I don't know. Oh yeah, I can pretty, pretty much like redo it. So you see, I'll go up and reach something. Let me see if I can play. Yeah, see, I'll go up and down. So. At this point here, I don't care what happened here because my foot was out of the throttle. Um, so yeah, I will start using this here and find out I got his knees. <coughs> Bless me. Here, let's go to this guy here. So we have 97, cannot be 97, but you see it increased my gas. I had here 94, it increased 97. But because my auto tune says normal, it, it means that's not going to increase a lot. So it could, it's possible that it was going to increase more. What I'm going to do, since this is 109, I'm going to interpolate in here. And this turns into 106. And now I'm going to interpolate here. And so I have 106 here. I'm going to interpolate between those guys. 109876. So that looks better. Um, here I could interpolate this way also and also get better numbers. So I have 9, 10. Of course, this 8 cannot be there. Um, and this 9 is this. So I'm going to interpolate in here also. And those are not numbers that I'm scientifically or, or um, logically putting in there. I'm just trying to. From the values I got, I'm trying to smooth this table out so this looks like a, a good 3D representation of gas. And I don't have a gas like I'm flooring and then all of a sudden I have 99, 109 and then drop to 60. Then I'm going to have a big lean spot in there and my engine goes kaboom. So <clears throat> uh, this is going to be um, adjusted later. You see here 17, 13. This could be um, a little better, but then if I change this right now, I'll need to change a lot more. So I'm just trying to get into the values I want, and we go from there. So for example, between 106 and 109, I would have 108, right? If I have 108, mm, 94 to 108 in 500 RPM is not a lot. So I'll need also to consider, um, <clears throat> what's happening in here right and um, if this jump up to a hundred um, I can definitely not go down to 89 so I'm gonna need to uh, make it rich again and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this 94 and this 105 I'm gonna interpolate and let's see I end up making everything richer than it was before so I'm gonna leave like that uh, this here 109 I can maybe interpolate like this and 109 was they're all dropping so this dropped to 100 so that's gonna be pretty 
hard to believe that this is going to be a 103. I'm going to bump up again a bunch of all those cells. Um, and again in here, this is not going to make a lot of sense because you see 104. I don't think 4 is the number here. It got to be from the 16. So you see 112. Um, this here probably, if this is 115, um, I'm going to do 116 here. 115 here and 115 here so um, yeah 114 you can't um, I mean I don't feel comfortable putting uh, the difference of those guys here being uh, too much <clears throat> but I'll play around I might do some uh, fast forward from now on I just want to explain what I'm doing uh, so you're gonna see at the end this table done and we're gonna run in the car so here, just to uh, keep the context, I'm trying to get areas in my table that I have values. For example, in one cell I have 100, next cell I have 95, and the next one I have 103. Right. So I need to interpolate and make 100, 101, and 103. Uh, I'm trying to keep the values on the high side uh, to keep it a little richer, uh, but not a lot rich, right? Because I don't want to have a lot of guess. A lot of guess is also bad. Uh, no gas is terrible. So um, I'm, I'm using the 3D graph I can you can see in there to identify the subtle bumps or dips and then I click in there I know which RPM it is what is the KPA and I go on the table I identify the value and I can uh, smooth them out. So now we're gonna run in the car I'm gonna get a log and that's gonna be probably the next video but let's go for a ride and see what the auto-tune did for us. All right, check it out. So, while my foot is in there, I have the right um, AFR, the ones I choose. Of course, when I take my feet off, um, it kinda uh, get lean, get, get rich, and sometimes get lean, but yeah, look at that. The little pool in second. It's perfect. Yeah, foot off. That's how you went up. Woo! Dang. Now my foot is off, so. And then you can see where it is, right down there. I don't want to go crazy, but look, 16, that goes to 12. This is so fun. All right, so now what I think about Auto Tune and VE Analyzer. I think it's okay uh, for you to use, but there's always a but. Um, you need to know what you are doing and what's happening because. Uh, as I see, as I saw on my tables, I had greater values on lower RPM and lower values on the higher RPM. So I don't understand how it would do like 110 uh, or 105, right? At 2000 RPM and at 5 or 6000 RPM, it would have uh, 91 or 89 so <clears throat> it's somehow is inconsistent I'm not sure how yet uh, would it be good to have the the tuner studio guys commenting and saying what is the algorithm what is calculating what is using um, so there is like a lot of stuff to consider temperature and you can you can fill up some stuff but throttle for example I don't know if when I have my foot on throttle it goes up on the table and it calculates when I take my foot off the, the gas if it goes back on that route or different route would that different route get changed also anyway guys I want to show you guys and I wanted to do this on my car to see if it would break uh, what would happen how the table would look like um, 
one thing I can tell you, you need to have an AFR table and that AFR table got to be good. Um, from there, I know you can do what I did here and it should be fine. Um, I'm not going to use this to tune my car though. I have a suggestion from a person that comment on my uh, past videos and I'm going to follow his suggestion. Um, I also have a friend that helped me tune this car and I would make the logs and when I got stuck on, on stuff like I did on this VE table, right? I didn't do VE table on that one and VE analyzer or, or auto tune. But I would get stuck in some values. I would call him or send my logs to him and he would help me out and you know in this back and forth until I understand or I understood what I was doing and I could start doing by myself. So I did that on that car. On this car on the other hand it had an AMFIC and because I love this PDEFI on that one and works so good I decided to uh, do the same thing on the Eclipse. So here we are and you know I guess uh, one of the fun parts of having a, a YouTube channel is uh, I can justify doing stuff <laughs> just so I can show you guys how it looks like or if it's gonna break or you know um, like an eBay turbo I bought in there it doesn't even have 500 miles and it's already uh, it has shaft play already so there's a video coming for that too um, in short next video I'm going to start tuning by hand so I got the values I smooth out the values uh, for this run so I know my car you saw it running it's running okay um, I took the deep valleys from whatever it was now it's smooth right it goes up next video don't don't miss the next video because next video is gonna be pretty cool I already start tuning from the table we have now uh, we're going to start doing little pulls and changing the table uh, as we should until we have the car uh, tuned pretty good. And once we are all done, then I'm going to get a bigger turbo, put a bigger, put a bigger turbo. Wow! And once I'm all done, I'm going to get a bigger turbo, put a bigger turbo in here, and we got to tune everything again. So don't miss the next videos. I'll see you later. I mean, it's a McDonald's.